Hello everyone, welcome to the session number 2 of the same chapter that is chapter number 13 photosynthesis. So what is meant by photosynthesis? Photo refers to light, synthesis refers to putting together. So the green plant can synthesize organic food molecules using simpler substances like carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and oxygen is released as a byproduct. And here photosynthesis takes place in special apparatus and these apparatus are said to be chloroplast. Before entering into the chloroplast, you need to understand some of the words. First is plastid. Plastids. What are plastids? These are the protoplasmic structures present in a plant cell. So here there are three types of plastid. One is said to be chloroplast. Second is chromoplast, third is leucoplast. So protoplasmic structures present in a plant cell is said to be plastids. So there are three types chloroplast, chromoplast, leucoplast. Chloroplast green colored plastids present in both stem and leaves. Chromoplast, it is a brightly colored plastid that is present in both fruits and flowers. Last is the leucoplast, it is a colorless plastid that is present in roads. So there are three types of plastids. First is the chloroplast, green color plastid present in both stem and leaves. Chromoplast, it is a brightly colored plastid present in both flowers and fruits. Leucoplast, it is a colorless plastid present in all roads. Now, you are going to study chloroplast, structure of chloroplast. So, chloroplast, it is a green colored plastid, protoplasmic structure present in both stem and leaves. It is usually oval in shape. Like this. Now we will understand the structure of chloroplast, photosynthetic apparatus. So it is oval or spherical in shape. It is a green protoplasmic structure present in both stem and leaves and here it is oval in shape and it is bounded by a membrane which is differentiated into outer and inner membrane.
outer and inner membrane both the membranes are made up of proteins and lipids so now there is a presence of space between the two membrane this is said to be periplastid space this is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane now this inner membrane encloses a liquid part this liquid is said to be stroma and in the stroma you can see there is a presence of reserve food materials ribosomes and then nucleic acid apart from this here there is a presence of these flattened structure like this and these are nothing but double membrane flattened disc shaped structures these are the double membrane flattened disc shaped structures and these are said to be thylakoids so what are thylakoids thylakoids are the flatten double membrane disc shape green structures and these are said to be thylakoids so that these thylakoids which are placed like this one above the other to form a structures these structures are said to be grana these are grana singular it is said to be granum so each granum consist of 5 to 10 thylakoids and these thylakoids which are placed one above the other and here between the thylakoids you can see a tube like structure these are the pipe like or a tube like structures this is said to be fret membrane also known as stroma lamella so this is about the structure of chloroplast so photosynthetic apparatus present in both stem and leaves and here these are the oval or a spherical shape of structure and it is bounded by a membrane which is differentiated into outer and inner membrane both the membranes are made up of proteins and lipids space between the two membrane is said to be periplastid space and the inner membrane that encloses liquid part that liquid is said to be stroma and in the stroma there is a presence of disc shape flatten double membrane structures and these are said to be thylakoids so that these thylakoids which are placed one above the other to form a structure that structure is said to be grana so each granum consist of number of thylakoids between the grana there is a presence of an elongated pipe or a tube like structure that is said to be fret membrane so this is about the structure of chloroplast next we'll move on to photosynthetic pigments these are the pigments which absorb light energy for the photochemical reaction so what is meant by photosynthetic pigments pigments which absorb light energy for the photochemical reaction that is said to be photosynthetic pigments and here there are two types of photosynthetic pigments the first one is primary pigment second one is accessory pigment
primary accessory primary means it absorb light energy and convert this light into chemical energy that type of a pigment is said to be what do you call primary pigment pigments which absorb light energy for the photochemical reaction immediately the light energy is converted into chemical energy and the best example is chlorophyll a so chlorophyll a is said to be primary pigment because it absorbs light energy immediately that light energy is converted into chemical energy second is accessory pigment pigments which absorb light energy immediately pass it on to primary pigment such type of a pigment sourced to be accessory pigment so primary it absorbs light energy convert this light into chemical energy accessory means it absorbs light energy immediately pass it on to chlorophyll a or primary pigment best examples are chlorophyll b xanthophyll carotenoids so these three are said to be accessory pigment and only one is said to be primary pigment because it absorbs light energy convert this light into chemical these three are said to be accessory pigment because it absorbs light energy and immediately pass it on to primary pigment this is about the photosynthetic pigment pigments which absorb light energy for the photochemical reaction primary means absorbs light energy convert this light into chemical accessory means it absorbs light energy pass it on to primary pigment next is the pigments which absorb or the photosynthetic pigments which absorb light energy at specific wavelength you can see the absorption of light this is 400 nanometer 500 nanometer 600 and 700 you can see the green color graph that represents the chlorophyll a and this is the yellow color that is the chlorophyll b and the white color which represent carotenoids so that means here uh, the photosynthetic pigments which absorb light energy at specific wavelength next is the wavelength at which the maximum photosynthesis that takes place in plants last is light absorbed in this case what happens this white graph that represents the rate of photosynthesis and the yellow that represents the rate of absorption at specific wavelength the graph together that shows the maximum photosynthesis that takes place at blue and red region of the spectrum this is about the pigments which absorb light energy at specific wavelength so photosynthetic pigments are the pigments which absorb light energy for the photochemical reaction there are two types one is the primary second one is an accessory primary which absorbs light energy and convert this light into chemical energy accessory which absorbs light energy and immediately pass it on to primary pigment or the uh, chlorophyll a these pigments are separated through paper chromatography chromatography so it is the technique to separate the photosynthetic pigment so there are different types of pigments that is chlorophyll a 
chlorophyll b xanthophylls and carotenoids this chlorophyll a is blue green chlorophyll b is yellow green xanthophyll is yellow last one is yellow orange these are the photosynthetic pigments we can separate these pigments through paper chromatography so that it is a technique to separate the photosynthetic pigment so chlorophyll a that is blue green chlorophyll b is yellow green xanthophyll is yellow and the carotenoids is yellow orange this is how in the practical classes we are separating the different types of photosynthetic pigments through paper chromatography next we'll move on to quantizomes also known as photosystem also known as pigment system so there are three names photosystem quantizomes or pigment system so here just now we discussed there is a presence of thylakoids thylakoids are the green flattened double membrane structures present inside the chloroplast quantizomes or photosystem or a pigment system it is nothing but these are the pigments or the photosynthetic pigments present inside the thylakoids so when we take the vertical section of the thylakoid like this here we can see there is a presence of a group of photosynthetic pigments like this so that this photosynthetic pigments present inside the thylakoids as a functional units those units are said to be what do you call quantizomes or photosystem each one is said to be photosystem each one is said to be quantizome so now this is the photosystem like this so that the photosystem which consists of two types of pigment one is said to be primary pigment that is present in the center around the primary pigment there is a presence of number of accessory pigments like this so this is said to be primary and these are all said to be accessory so the main function of this is it absorbs light energy so that the primary pigment that is present in the center and it absorbs light energy convert this light into chemical energy around this there is a presence of accessory pigment and these accessory pigments which also absorbs light energy and immediately pass it on to primary pigment so that this is the common energy receiving point and this is said to be reaction center very very important so what is meant by reaction center it is a common energy receiving point that is said to be reaction center so this is about the photosystem so photosystem or the quantizomes or the pigment system it is nothing but these are the photosynthetic pigments that is present inside the thylakoids as a functional units and each photosystem that consists of primary accessory and here the common energy receiving point is said to be reaction center so now there are two types of photosystem first one 
photo system 1 second one photo system 2 photo system 1 has a maximum absorption of light at 700 nanometer wavelength therefore its reaction center is said to be p700 here photo system 2 the maximum absorption of light at 680 nanometer wavelength therefore its reaction center is said to be p680 p700 means photo system 1 p680 means photo system 2 that is nothing but it's a reaction center of the photo system 1 reaction center is nothing but it's a common energy receiving point reaction center is nothing but it's a common energy receiving point so in this session we understood what is meant by plastid and there are three types of plastid and we understood structure of chloroplast and then we understood photosynthetic pigments, pigments which absorb light energy for the photochemical reaction. We studied two types primary accessory primary which absorbs light energy and convert this light into chemical energy accessory which absorbs light energy and immediately pass it on to chlorophyll A or primary pigment and these pigments which absorb light energy at specific wavelength. So inside the thylakoids there is a presence of photosynthetic pigments which are arranged in a bundles or a groups that is said to be photosystem and in each photosystem there is a presence of primary accessory the common energy receiving point is said to be reaction center and then we studied photosystem 1 and 2 the p700 that is nothing but it's a reaction center of the photosystem 1 p680 that is the reaction center of the photosystem 2 last is light harvesting complex light harvesting complex also known as antennae that is nothing but it is the pigment protein complex that harvest light in both the photosystem. So I hope you understood this session. Thank you.